Hi everyone, Chris here from IELTS Advantage with another one of our success stories. So today we're going to talk to Como and what we were able to do with Como was to bring her from 5.5 in writing to a band 7 in writing. So Como was getting great scores for her listening. She ended up getting 8.5 for her listening. She got 7.5 in speaking. She got 7 in reading. But the thing that she was really struggling with like many, many other students out there, was the uh, writing. And she did the test four times, and her final, on her final attempt, we were able to get her a band seven. So, Como, let's start off by, yeah, hey. <laughs> by talking about um, what were the main differences between when you were getting a 5.5 and when you were getting a seven? What would you suggest to a student who is in a similar position to you, who's maybe getting a 6 or 6.5 or 5.5? What do you think is a, is a good um, – I'll, I'll let you explain anyway. You know better than me because you're the one who did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I went through a lot of videos online, mm -hmm. and what they focused on was vocabulary. They told to practice uh, vocabulary, high frequency words and stuff. And I did practice that. And in my exam, I used them. But when I got my result, I was very shocked. Like after hard work, like I worked hard for around a month. And in the end, the result which I got was like 5.5, which was not what I expected. Mm -hmm. Then I thought of going with your course after... Mm -hmm after trying your challenge mm -hmm. and I was quite happy with the structure and mm -hmm. specifically what you told was keep it simple mm -hmm. and uh, the sample essays which were provided mm -hmm. uh, in VIP Academy mm -hmm. uh, that helped a lot because uh, there were around I guess um, around 15 16 essays or so mm -hmm. and I went through each and every one and the topics were different Mm -hmm. And I read them, the vocabulary, I was like, I was shocked. I mean, is this a band nine essay? Yeah. Wherein, <laughs> uh, yeah. Wherein others tell that you have to focus on vocabulary and stuff. And the formula which we have to like keep in mind is keep it simple. Mm -hmm. So I use that strategy. I went through your videos, specifically the structure. It's so specific, so easy to understand. And um, yeah, I, went, I made my own notes going through your videos and I saw most of them were similar mm -hmm. and there were some tips and tricks. Like if you remembered them, then you can score easily band seven and IELTS. It's not difficult. Mm -hmm. yeah, the reason why I was laughing there about, about vocabulary was one of the things that we used to do when I was teaching face to face, when I was working for the British Council. On the very first yeah. day of class, I would give them a band nine essay and a band six mm -hmm. essay, and I wouldn't tell them which one was which. And I said, take the band nine essay and put it on the left-hand side and the six essay on, on the right-hand side. And they always 100% got them mixed up. And the reason yeah. that 100% of them said was, we thought, it, the, we thought the band six essay was a band nine because it has lots of big words. And we thought yes. that the band nine essay was band six because it has lots of simple words. And it yeah. really comes from this thing that you will see on YouTube and Facebook and in lots of schools where they teach you that the secret to getting a high score in IELTS writing is use lots of big words. And yeah. The problem with Basically, that, I, yeah, I came across those videos, five mm -hmm. vocabulary words, which would help you, yeah. for example, plethora and stuff. And it was like, I had literally by hearted them. <laughs> <laughs> well, the pro I mean, the problem is that, tw well, the first problem is 25% of your total score is vocabulary. So you're, yeah. by focusing on vocabulary, you're ignoring the other 75%. The other yeah. problem is, what happens if you try and use very high-level words? What, what, what do you do? It, it, it became very difficult. Hmm. Um, there was a time when I thought, oh my God, this is not my cup of tea. I should not do IELTS. And I told my husband, let's not go to Canada yeah. and let's cancel the plan. And, but then when I referred your structure, it was so simple. Hmm. 
I mean, I just spend around 30, 40 minutes a day yeah. or two hours in a weekend. Mm. And yeah, that was great, especially your correction service. It was mm. so up to the mark. Mm -hmm. When I went through my mistakes, I understood where I was going wrong. Yeah. I think that, yeah, and your team and your team, they are really very active. I mean, on are. Facebook group also, if I put something that I have difficulty and so and so, and they will immediately send me a link, mm -hmm. which I have to just go through and um, practice. Yeah. And I, th I think the other problem with teaching people high level words is that most of the, the people that they're teaching that to are not capable of using those, those words. So it's the yeah. analogy I always use is like, if I go to the gym, I can normally lift, let's say, 50 kilos. But if I try and yeah. lift 200 kilos, I will I'll get injured I, or I'll drop the weight on my head. And it's the same thing with giving people lists of big, long words. They don't know how to use them. And it's very common to get 5.5 because you will get a very low score for vocabulary because you have so many mistakes. Would you, would you agree with that? Yeah, I totally agree. Plus, I believe that people should verify before going to an IELTS instructor. Mm -hmm. For example, what happened with me is uh, before giving my second attempt, I came across one instructor. I mean, there was just a Facebook page to help me with my IELTS preparation. And they charge a very small chunk of amount and they correct the SS and give. But uh, then through my research, I came to know that that person is still struggling with the IELTS exam. Yeah. And yeah, and they are just tutoring to earn some money so that they can, you know, it's like an investment for them. Yeah, but I've seen that. I've people seen that like so us, many times. Yeah, yeah, and people like us, they get cheated just by, yeah. you know, paying and then they demotivate that, no, you need another six months of time to prepare for the exam and stuff. Yeah. But I believe that, as you always say, that take IELTS as an investment rather than giving exam again and again. Yeah. find a better tutor and do and i feel that IELTS advantage is the best i know it's, there's there's a lot of people out there that have not even got the score that they need yet calling themselves yeah. IELTS teachers and it's, it's yeah. like if you broke your leg and went to the hospital would you ask the other people the other patients the sick people to <laughs> to help you or would you ask a doctor or a nurse you know it's it's yeah crazy. um it's crazy the things that people are doing out there um and, and, and the cheapest option, like anything else, if you buy the cheapest car, it will break down. Yeah. If you buy the cheapest house, it's going to have a leaky roof and be in a terrible neighborhood. If you buy the cheapest yeah. correction service or the cheapest course, and I'm not saying that because I want people to give me money. I'm saying that because I want people to save money and give it to someone who really knows what they're doing. That's probably not going to be me because I can't help you know, too many people, but save your money yeah. and give it to someone who knows what they're doing and then you'll get the score that you need. Because it, it would be a shame for you to have missed out on an opportunity to move to Canada, have a better life, because you, you trust someone who just doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, that was like really shocking for me how people earn money through various networking sites. Yeah. So I think people should verify before going through any institute or any classes so a, a, what would you say to someone who you, you mentioned um to keep it simple what would you say to someone who right now is watching this video and would say well if you use simple vocabulary and simple grammar you're going to get a low score you have to use complex uh, vocabulary and grammar and everything no i would just say that follow a particular tutor Mm -hmm. Don't just keep changing your tutors just because you don't get a good score from that person. Other thing is practice. Practice as much as you can mm -hmm. and follow a structure. Mm -hmm. I mean, following a structure is very important because, for example, in question when they say that what are the causes and prob uh, what are the causes and solutions. So when we see that word causes and solutions, there are many people who might misinterpret that, oh, we have to write two causes or three causes and three solutions, which is not possible. In yeah. fact, I also used to feel the same. But when I followed your structure, I realized, okay, we can write one cause and one solution for the same. And we, we get good marks for that. Yeah. So, so you, in, in the real test, did you have a causes and solutions question? Um, no, I had opinion question. Mm -hmm. 
whether oh. do you agree or disagree mm -hmm. uh, it was like i don't remember the question as such but it was based on um, children growing in uh, whether children should grow in rural area or whether they should be in um, cities mm -hmm. and what so basic whether you agree or disagree. did you use there I followed your structure that is paraphrasing the question and giving um, like I disagree that they should not stay in rural, rural areas. So why do I disagree? I in introduction, I mentioned my two ideas. Mm -hmm. Then my first paragraph was on my topic sentence plus explanation and example. Same in with the second paragraph and conclusion. Yeah, simple. <laughs> yeah. Another thing I would also uh, like to share with others is. Um, basically, I'm from India. I stay in Dubai, but I'm from India. Mm -hmm. So one problem which we Indians face is um, mentioning the same thing again and again. Yep. I mean, there would be a topic sentence and um, in my explanation, I would just write the same thing mm -hmm. and it would just go round and round and round. So that was a problem with me. And um, I went through your video on YouTube about um, mistakes which um, Indians do as yes. in going round and round with the same topic yeah so I went through it and you had explained it in such an easy way yeah we'll, we'll after link up that, that video yeah. so, so other Indian students can check it out so. yeah yeah after that when I wrote my essay there was a sudden change as in first when I used to get my essays corrected by you I never got more than 6.5 or 6 Mm -hmm. And after going through that video, uh, when I wrote my essay, I started getting seven because it went into my mind how I have to basically write an essay. Mm -hmm. The typical format, because we are so used to writing same thing again and again and again, it reflected in my essay. Mm -hmm. So that video really helped me a lot to overcome my problem with, you know, running around the bush and writing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I think for, for anyone watching, they might be thinking, well, I don't have that problem and I have no idea what my problems are. The key is to get feedback on, on your writing. As if there, was a, you know, if there was a problem with your car, you wouldn't try and fix your own car or you wouldn't go to yeah. mechanic school and try and learn it, it yourself. You would take it to a mechanic and they would fix that one or two problems that you have exactly the same. Yeah writing essays, anybody getting below a seven, there's at least one or two big problems that you have, but you're unaware of those things. But once yeah. you become aware of them and then you work on fixing those things, then you see yeah. progress. Yeah, okay. and another thing when I went through your videos, it also helped me to improve my listening mm -hmm. because I was um, listening uh, what a native speaker spoke. Yeah. So it helped me with my listening and it also five, helped so it must, yeah. be, must have worked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it also helped me with my speaking because mm -hmm. at times there are particular words which we might be pronouncing wrong but mm -hmm. when you go through when I went through your modules I realized that some words are to be pronounced this way when you are speaking to a native english speaker. Yeah. So the advantage is you it's it's like a complete package yeah i was i i, I was recently traveling in in asia I was going around different countries in southeast asia and i was just googling ielts schools just to check out the competition there and stuff and i couldn't believe that most ielts courses are taught in the native language so there was like yeah. schools in thailand that were teaching ielts in thai there were schools in vietnam that were teaching ielts in vietnamese and i was like this is crazy why are you doing a english test but you're learning it in a different language um and then yeah them wanting to get a band seven but doing that yeah. is, is just crazy so yeah i think an yeah. another point from that is surround yourself with as much english as possible be listening yes. and reading and speaking and writing english as much as you can because it's an english yeah. test at the end of the day you know yeah and don't be overconfident because i tried that i became overconfident and once i got 7.5 in listening mm -hmm. <laughs> and i got a good score in other things so i would advise people don't be overconfident practice practice as much as you can you can yeah that is feedback. the key and get feedback. Yeah, that is the key. Yeah, yeah. Get feedback. That is very important. And go through that feedback. Don't just ignore yeah. it. And yeah. Yeah. Don't just ignore it and keep it aside. Please read your essays. Go through that and 
review. Yeah. Yeah. Z even a problem that we have with some students on our on the VIP course is we'll give them feedback and tell them this is wrong. You need to fix this. You need to work on mm. that. And they won't do that even when they get yeah. feedback. And we say that yeah. you know, learning is the first step. Getting feedback is the second step, but the third and most important step is taking action on, on the feedback. Yeah. yeah, actually, I was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I got my essays corrected in the start and I just, you know, had a glance. Just five minutes, score, okay. and then that's it, and you don't read anything <laughs> Yeah, <else>. yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, I need to just uh, focus on grammar, nothing else. Okay, this is the feedback, okay, fine. But then later on when I got my result, after my third attempt, I became really very serious yeah. and I yeah. took all my old previous essays. I literally highlighted my mistakes and I okay. went through it. And then I understood that, yes, Chris told that once you are done with the correction, go through your essay, review it for 30 minutes or so, and then you write another essay. Yeah. And that is how I got my desired score. Yeah, and I, th I think that's another reason why we limit the number of, of essay corrections that people can do. Because if you don't do that, people just do essay after essay after essay after essay, and they don't look at the feedback or take action to improve the things on the feedback. Practice alone yeah. is useless. If you need yeah. to practice, get feedback, and then take action on, on your weak points, and then you will see um, the improvement. Uh, because you could, like, imagine learning how to drive a car by just driving a car around and around and around. Yes. And around. You would yeah, develop seriously. really bad habits. Um, you know, mm -hmm. same with reading, listening, speaking, writing. You can't just do lots and lots of practice and then see any improvement. You really need to to look at the feedback and take action on it. So we'll, we will definitely show this clip to the other VIP students. <laughs> Not all of them do that. Not all of them do that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, your, that's it. What yeah. was your mindset whenever you saw a lower score than, than you thought? Like, so when you were practicing, when you were sending us your mm -hmm. essays, we were giving you six, we were giving you 6.5. We were, t you know, a lot of mm -hmm. mistakes and things. What was your mindset towards that? Well, I got really very demotivated when I saw my score. And, and then I told my husband also, look, I cannot do this. You find another way to migrate <laughs> or you give the exam. I told him, you give the exam. I cannot do it. <laughs> So, but then he motivated me and your quotes motivated me, uh, the quotes which you put regularly on your Facebook uh, po uh, Facebook page, mm -hmm. as well as he also. Oh, Komo, you've, you, you, the, there we go. Yeah. Fixed. Can you Sorry, you must have hit the button by mistake. Sorry. You were saying yeah. that you went, you seen the, the the stuff on the in the Facebook group, the motivational stuff. Yeah, motivational stuff as well as he put that eight triple seven score in front of my eyes. So whenever I used to see <laughs> it, I used to see that. And I'm a teacher basically, so then I thought that what would others others feel if they see that their teacher is only not trying her level best. Mm -hmm. So that is how I woke up one day. Um, and I had like Cambridge books 11 to 15. Oh, they, they fit it again. Okay. Yeah. I had already practiced those books. So I took copies of those books again. And I, you know, I was continuously practicing. I dedicated myself towards IELTS for around eight to nine hours in a day. Mm -hmm. continuously doing those listening modules and writing and stuff. In fact, uh, I used to finish my writing um, task two in around 20 minutes. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. But the problem with me was idea generation. Mm -hmm. And I was not very sure about that. Mm -hmm. Like, and how then would I you, went, that's, that's a yeah. good, so how would you help someone if they were struggling with idea generation? Because there's a lot of people who do struggle with that. Would you say brainstorming is a fact? Uh, no, I, I loved your coffee shop method. Mm -hmm. uh, so I went through your previous videos on YouTube as well as Facebook and I went through the uh, mini module. 
mm-hmm. in a VIP course. I went mm-hmm. through it again and again. I made my own notes. Mm-hmm. Then again, I bought essay correction service again because um, uh, my previous one was already finished. I had got my five essays corrected. Mm-hmm. So I bought another essay correction service and then I started writing and that is how I I got around seven from you in all the essays That's I wrote. Well, we'll and link, then up I, our, yeah. link up our idea generation video um, here because you talked about the copy shop method. Um, but we'll link yeah. up the video here to, um, so yeah. other students watching can, um, can, can have a look and improve as well. Yeah. So come yeah, on. and that is when yeah, that's when I came to know yes, I'm actually prepared for the exam. Excellent, excellent. So congratulations yeah. again on go- going from Thank five point so five to seven in such a short period of time, um, and now you'll be able to to go to Can- Canada, is it? Yeah, and just a few days back, I came to know I have to give IELTS Academic as well because I'm into teaching. Okay. So I have to revisit the course. I have to give IELTS again. Well, if you have any problems, so, yeah. well, you you know that you've got lifetime access, and we'll help you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I feel that I took a right step, um, enrolling myself with IELTS Advantage, and it's a very good investment for me. And thank you so much for helping me out. You're welcome, Koma. Yeah, because it's it's because of you that I'll be going to Canada now. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, thank you so much for, for helping other people. And um, it's a really inspirational story and, and, and you've given really good advice. So if you need anything in the future, just let me know we're here for you and we'll sure. do anything we can to help you. All right. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Go you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Have a good day.